In question number eight, there's a graph. It's either secant or cosecant. Now, just off the start here, I don't know which one it is. So what we're going to do is add a few things to this graph. First thing we're going to do is add the vertical asymptotes. Easier said than done. The vertical asymptotes are going to be halfway between these points I'm drawing here in blue. So it's between 0 and 3. So what happens here at 1.5 are the vertical asymptotes. 1.5, the other one happens at negative 1.5 because it's between 0 and negative 3. Okay, so what we're going to do next is draw the cosine or sine function this is based on. Vertical asymptotes turn into x-intercepts when you reciprocate. 1 over uh, 0 reciprocates to 0. And those, oops, those are also incorrect. Let's see, we have negative 5. I'm thinking of y-coordinates now. Negative 5 and 3 halfway in between is negative 1. So that's actually where our x values would be. This would be the old x-intercept. So now what I'm going to do is draw my best sine or cosine function right here. Now what I've drawn is one period, but this is not the period that we normally draw for a sine or cosine function. And what we're going to do is just extend it which needs to go a little bit further over here. This is what happened at 6.5. Zero. Nope. What happened at 6, not 6.5. Right there at 6, because this one happened. It went from x coordinate of 0, x coordinate of 3. That would have x coordinate of 6. And we'll draw that. We'll cut through that point at four and a half. Four and a half, there we go. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go with this as a period of cosine. Now what we're gonna do is write out this cosine function, not worry about any of the vertical, then we'll worry about the vertical at the very, very, very end. So we're just going to get the period. And oh, look at that. What's the horizontal shift? Can you see? Horizontal shift, it should start at x equals 0. And it does start at x equals 0. So let's turn this, turn this one orange. So we're just going to do a cosine, no vertical. We have little a, this x minus h. All right, so we said there's no horizontal shift, so all we need is the period a. Period is 2 pi over a. Now, what is our period? It goes from 0 to 6. So our period is 6. It is 2 pi over a. So we're solving for a. So we'll plug both sides by a. Divide by 6. So 2 over 6 is 1 third. By keeping that pi in there, we have pi over 3. OK, so h was 0, so we didn't need to include that. What I did here was graph what would have been the regular cosine function with no vertical transformations. Oh, that's a pretty bad cosine graph. What transformations turns this cosine graph into the second cosine graph? Well, there's a few things we need to compute. One of them is the new amplitude. You want to be careful. It looks like it's 3, but it's not. And the whole total height is negative 5 to 3, which is 8. So our amplitude is actually 4. So 
Big A is going to be 4. That's the amplitude. Uh, there's another thing happening, which is a vertical shift, and it's shifting down 1. Okay. So... The tricky part is the vertical shift happens after we reciprocate. And so does the, both of those vertical uh, transformations happen after we reciprocate here. So we're going to create a new function, which is we want to reciprocate now. Reciprocate 1 over cosine of x is secant of x. So secant is the function we're going to be creating here, not cosecant, because we decided to, or at least I decided to go with the cosine instead of a sine. So the reciprocal is secant. Now it's secant of this right here. So we have our g of x equals a secant of a x minus h plus k and we just did all we did all the inside part before with cosine so things would be a little bit easier um, and we just got that the amplitude big a is four and we only have a pi over three x all right, now k, the amplitude came from right there. k is right here. k is negative 1, so it's plus a negative 1. And that is our graph, the original black graph that was here and wrote all over it. and looks kind of crazy now, but that's the original graph that was on here. If I come through and erase everything, that's this graph that we're looking at here. And you, of course, can do this with sine. And if I did it with sine, how would I start? It's a little bit more tricky. If you really want to do it with sine, you can. You would start here. You would end right here. And this would be the period I'd recommend using. And, of course, sine would reciprocate into uh, cosecant. Uh, and if you did use sine, you would have a horizontal shift that you would have to include.